Hey everybody. Who here plays with Docker? I've got a few. Excellent. How many of you are running Docker in production? Okay. It's, uh, it's interesting. Docker is a great developer tooling uh, and workflow management tool if you like image-based deploys. And that's one of the things that really drew me to this. So my lightning talk is going to be very unstructured. We're going to talk kind of about how uh, Mr. Bruchek and I are approaching Docker, some of the things we've done, and what we're planning on doing for the future. And I've got seven minutes to do it. Starting now. So if you go to github.com slash solutions, you'll find community landing pages, or projects, actually, uh, where we do some of our planning, and we start to look at the... <laughs> Right on. So this is where we are breaking down a lot of the different things that we're doing. We also uh, recognize and acknowledge the, the community members that are helping us achieve these goals and are participating in the planning. And what's really nice about this is that you as a community can now actively engage with us and get an insight into what we're working on and what we've already done and benefit from some of this work. Uh, when we first started, the view of Docker was, you know, we need a Docker charm, right? Let's, let's just juju deploy Docker. And it wasn't really obvious what this brought to the table. You got Docker on a host and that's pretty much it. So the entire purpose behind this was more for, we have this need to deliver Docker quickly in a PaaS-like infrastructure where you are going to deploy something such as Kubernetes. This is not going to be the cornerstone. We want to independently track this and start looking at the different components that will bolt into this, such as providing SDN, providing image, uh, garbage collection, and things like that. And the single charm just really wasn't the path forward for everybody to kind of adopt Docker and to work with us in production. So we're moving into the new phase of writing charms with the reactive pattern and layers, and you're going to start seeing newer and better things <coughs> start to appear in those layers to where you can consume that and start to really rapidly accelerate getting your image into your staging and moving between your different environments and get to capitalize on those gains of having, for example, integrated monitoring or whatever you scale out. Uh, and you enable the config option for Swarm, your Docker cluster automatically transforms into Swarm, it generates TLS certificates, communicating uh, securely, and it's ready to go. High, uh, high parity that you can run on your laptop over KVM containers. So what's really nice about this is also that the relationship stubs are going to play a major role in this in kind of eliminating some of the specific charm layers here, such as a registrator charm, and if you're not familiar with that, that enables service discovery. So you deploy, 15 different applications and containers, and this now notifies your uh, centralized orchestrator such as console or etcd, and you can start doing uh, interesting things like blue-green deployments with this. Uh, the other side of this is uh, SDN. We're working with Calico, uh, Weave, Flannel. I think those are the three SDNs that we have confirmed working with us on, on Docker integration, but it, it doesn't have to stop there. Like, you could also free to innovate and work in this. We, uh, we, we generated, oh, two weeks before DockerCon, a, <laughs> I'm gonna call this the idealistic paths that you can deploy with Juju, and we call it Hackathon, and the original uh, name was uh, obviously Container Dynamics, which is what this reading is telling me. I totally forgot about that, clearly an awesome name. Uh, but the idea behind this is you deploy this suite of uh, charms and you get a soup to nuts Docker-based PaaS that operates on Composer YAML files. It sets up the entire infrastructure for <coughs> Elastic Compute using Docker Engine. You get an SDN to map everything together. It also deploys the software. Uh, the service discovery units will be powered by console and registrator. Uh, log aggregation shipping from Logspout into an ELK cluster. And you can deploy different Docker applications just by <coughs> providing the Composer YAML files as a subordinate. And this was done over a weekend. We, we had the idea, uh, brought it from inception to a, a staging environment and gave a lightning talk over it at our, at our presentation in, in uh, San Francisco. So this is kind of where we've been. It's just looking at it, evaluating what you can do with it. How would it best benefit developers who are interested in Docker? How do you move forward with this? And uh, that's what has driven us into looking and seriously evaluating the future of this with Reactive Pattern and how you're gonna gain the, uh, the benefits of this to where you get your app deployed as a Docker image, and you already get the benefit of all the plumbing being provided for you, you just react to events. So I don't have examples to show you today, 
but I can certainly break down through the uh, proposed things that we want to do, such as providing actions, uh, some of these relationship stubs. But we're going to be planning this over the next few weeks, and you'll see uh, documents arrive in our GitHub repository. Again, if you're curious about that and would like to follow along, you can subscribe to uh, Juju Solutions slash Tupperware, and uh, a lot of our work will be there. I think I'm in under time, but that's what I, that's what I have today. So, thanks.